Oh, hey, creeper right outside the window. Pig over there. Come on, get, come around to the door. Stupid creeper so I can kill you. Instead of trying to attack me that way. Ay. So annoying. Oh, there's a pig over here. Welcome, and thank you for joining me today. We are here inside of our little house, where there are creepers outside. I count at least four. And they're all out to the front, no less. Which makes going out this way the safer way to exit the house. Oh, hey, chicken. Oh, five creepers, I see. Yeah, that's one way to start. Anyway, we're just going to head out, look around, make sure we're not getting ambushed. <laughs> we're going to kind of wander this way a little bit to clear all of that a little bit. Might be a little cheat wandering far enough that they despawn, <laughs> but <laughs> it's all... A lot safer. Ooh. Gotta watch out for that hole. Yes. Yes, I see. They have not all despawned. We still have this one to contend with. But I think that is about the only one we'll have to contend with. Oh, right, I don't have a bow, so I will actually have to melee it. Yeesh. And now you are after me. We're going to get down to flat ground. Four hits. Also, mobs tend to strafe to your left, so when you're attacking to the left, and you're more likely to hit. Okay, that's a... That is a new mob added to the game since the, uh... the prequel. The cow. So, if you're wondering how we got all this armor if cows weren't in the game, there's still a creeper over there. Ugh. Well, I suppose one creeper... Two creepers better than five, six. Yeah, you're dying. You're definitely dying. Oh, drop nothing, why don't you? Wait, is that two creep? That's two creepers. Gee, that's lovely. Uh, oh, zombie burned up over here. I suppose if we can lure the creeper into the water, that'd be fine. That's actually the easy way to fight creepers. <laughs> All right, I'm going after this one. If I can see it. Did it despawn because it was out of sight? That is the worst kind of creeper. One that despawns where you don't even know that it is or is not still around. I don't see it. Famous last words. Anyway, that's enough wandering around dealing with the remnants of the night. Yep. We're going to increase the size of our spawn shelter. 
Uh, basically, bring everything up about a block, and then following that, put a proper roof on it. Yeah, I'm very paranoid about creepers. They are nasty. <laughs> Okay, so what do we, uh, I guess hostile mob drops go in here also. Makes sense. Anyway, need to craft up bunch of, uh, bunch of oak wood. Also need some ladders. Uh, it's not 13... 17. I think that'll put me at 21. Yes, where I can craft three ladders. Exactly. Yeah. That's just super great. We're also going to craft up... Oh... A bunch of stairs, because I know I'll need them. I hate how wasteful a stair recipe can be, but I guess it is what it is. Now, do a little bit of this, and then we can start work on expanding the house. And I think the first step will be to actually expand this part of it before the roof line. And now we take out what is essentially the ceiling. Because I need to raise that... Well, I'm not going to raise it up a block yet. I might just leave an open-aired ceiling. I'm not sure. It would also be helpful to be able to climb from the inside to do the work instead of from the outside. So... If I do this, okay, that's just a pig jumping behind a bush. So, yeah, I was kind of worried that was a creeper, but it's not, so we're good. Now, we need to finish tearing out this floor, ceiling, whichever. I'm not making a second floor to this house. Oh, there goes that. So I guess that also means... another axe, which I guess will eventually be needed. <laughs> anyway. Uh, if I had opened my inventory and looked, I wouldn't have needed to make these sticks just yet. Right, we'll put those there. Now, here is the tricky part about building in this version. There is no sneak. Yeah. It's going to be like that the whole way across, isn't it? That's okay. It is fixable very easily. It's just also very tricky to do. Well, I didn't take damage, but my armor did. So one more each direction here. Why can't I place a block there? Huh. That is... that is peculiar. Must have been the angle. You know, I wasn't able to do any cow killing between... They are loud. 
wasn't able to do any cow killing between the pre-episode and this episode, so I'm a little bit behind on that. One block higher. Huh. That is very strange. But this is the easy way to do this on the outside. And then on... That is extremely strange. I can reach it from one side, but not from the other. Doors are closed, and I can just work through the night-ish. And we're going to start over here. This is... very peculiar. Huh. Well, that fixed itself down there, so that tells me how the top is going to end up being most likely. Unfortunately, also. So, how does this build? We have a top peak there. And five. And one. Yeah, building this up is definitely going to be interesting, to say the least. That's it for those. Wow. Interesting to say the very least. Like, ridiculously. Eh, whatever. It works. It's weird, but it works. I need a lot more stairs. And I mean a lot more if I want this to work. <laughs> oh, good grief. Right. Huh. Okay, so that just about works. Get a few more stairs there, plus those. And I guess let's see how this works. I might end up with the torches on the roof overnight kind of thing. Oh yeah, there's a creeper over there. I'm mostly worried about spiders at the moment. Yeah, it's the overhang also that could be an issue. Hmm. You know what? I can make myself worry less about spiders by doing this. Oh. And then matching it on this side. Very weird, the spot you have to click to get this to work. Not where I meant to put that. Doubly annoying, because... Yeah, no matter what I use, they break slow. And they drop planks. <laughs> uh, of course.
Hmm. Okay, so I need to get the last of the overhang to fully spider-proof the house. Oh, that is so very scary. And I'll go fix this side up too real quick. Torch. And block. <laughs> yeah. You ain't coming in, you stupid zombie. Oh, I am so terrified of mobs in these early versions. You know what? I do not want that to despawn. That scares me, even though... Okay, that takes care of that. We have a creeper at this side. <laughs> That's one thing I do like about the doors. Attacking through them. I'm not going to worry about a couple of feathers as much as I hate letting anything despawn. I'm more terrified of the night than I am worried about losing a couple of items. <laughs> and believe me, time tends to fly in these old versions. Well, even in the new ones to a certain extent, but... Whoo boy. Right, it's going to be easier to build it this way. That, and then we do a little bit of this. And another stack of stairs. Okay, that's all of that. Because there's no way to properly do them on this level. The only thing I can do is that. Making a very awkward roof peak. But sometimes that's about all you can do in the old versions of the game. Now... Yeah, that creeper sees me. You know what? I'm gonna do that. So that I can do this. I will have the roof done in no time. There we go. Okay, that's not working. I need to place it on this block. Got it. Oh, hey! Creeper right outside the window. Pig over there. Come on, get... Come around to the door. Stupid creeper so I can kill you. Instead of trying to... Attack me that way. Ay. So annoying. Oh, there's a pig over here. And a pig over there. <laughs> it is turning day. Those feathers are still outside. Yeah, I kind of didn't think you'd left me alone. But you're not... Smart enough to pathfind around to me, are you? No, you're not. You're stupidly trying to pathfind that way. 
Come on. Around the corner. You can do it. I hate creepers. <laughs> okay, so... I guess while we're staring at a very bouncy creeper... <laughs> Uh, this is my coal supply, my uncooked food supply, my cooked food supply, my basic materials, and my emergency startup supply. All of this crafted out of wool. <laughs> I mean, you're guaranteed like one to three, so... Pun and you don't even have to kill the sheep, so it does, to an extent, work. The annoying thing is, I've got the creepers here. Also, if you notice, we have this dark bar here, and those are the full blocks, and those are stairs. Yeah, stairs let light through quite a bit. Now, if I actually put a ceiling on this thing, it'd be at this height. So I would need a torch there, and a torch there. And then that would just be an inaccessible portion of the ceiling, which I really do think would be a better idea. Yeah, we'll just take a 16 because that'll turn into a stack, which will be more than enough. And a little bit of this. Hmm. I want to try something. So we're going to run out of blocks here. And then we middle click and it pops to the next stack of blocks in our hand. So those torches provide 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. Yeah, there's going to be plenty of light for nothing to spawn in the attic. And it f now feels nice and cozy in here. Except for this creeper that is doing nothing but jumping around. Trying to trick it to pathfind over here, but it's not working. All it does is want to hop around outside my window. Ugh, oh, good grief. Those feathers have despawned. Well. We've, it, we've done some work on our spawn house. Making it look nicer. I need to make the area immediately surrounding it also be safer. And I think that's where fences are going to come in handy. I'm going to put a fenced barrier around this. The only problem is we don't have fence gates. So, when it comes to that, I'm basically limited in what I can do. Uh, I still want to go outside and take a look at the house. That creeper is right behind me. Ooh, arrows. I don't have a bow yet. Oh, come on. You couldn't have lost interest that fast. Get your butt over here so I can kill you. That's it. This way. Creeper is an idiot. <sighs> and that cow is annoying. Oh, good. He's following me now. Ha! You're trapped, stupid creeper. 
keeping my eye out on any other creepers. And I don't see any right now. <laughs> so we can briefly admire the house while we are briefly safe from any sort of creepers. Yeah. <laughs> I'm very paranoid about those stupid things. So, this... Not the greatest house, but for Alpha, it's not terrible. Can't do upside-down stairs. I could maybe do blocks underneath. I'm not sure how that would look. Definitely want to close the door. It's wholly unable to when I was leaving to check... To, uh, have that creeper chase me out. That looks a whole lot. Hey, no mooing from beyond the grave. As I was saying, that looks a whole, whole lot better. It's also becoming night, so I'm going to head in. And, yeah. I think we'll call this little bit of work here good. There's not a whole lot that can be done super quick in these older versions. Next episode, we are going to do a fence around the area make sure that everything is nice and safe and whatnot maybe even get some sort of crop going but at the same time mobs will trample it so i'm not 100 percent sure what we will definitely do though is get a fence surrounding the building at about four blocks out all around and we're going to have to do something to make it so that we can come and go from that fence safely. But mobs can't. And literally the only two options... Well, I say two. Literally the only option is a door. And the only way that feasibly works is to surround it. So that's what we may have to do. Which is not going to look particularly nice either. We'll figure out the fence around here next time. And then after that, we're going to go underground. Because I don't want to stay with stone tools too long. I want to get to iron stuff. So until next time, God bless.